My name is Janne Tapio. Welcome to my Lynx Masterclass. The Lynx Rave RE and x RE models come with three-way adjustable shock absorbers. To make it easier to find the setup suitable for you, we have made three pre-configured suspension settings. Let's see how to use them. Before making any adjustments to your sled shocks, make sure you have set the sack properly and ridden your sled to know how it feels. You should also know how to adjust the limiter strap. If you are not familiar with these two things, see my previous videos. The Lynx Rave RE and x RE snowmobiles feature high-capacity KYB46 HL CR Kashima shocks. The shock diameter is a massive 46 mm. The cylinder tube has a Kashima coating for minimal friction, great motion sensitivity and extended service intervals. HLCR stands for high and low compression and rebound damping. With this three-way adjustability we can fine-tune the suspension for different conditions and rider preferences. Let's see how that works. The high-speed compression damping adjustments are indicated in turns. With low-speed compression damping and rebound damping we talk about clicks. You can feel these clicks when turning the adjusters. The following values are measured from the closed position. This means that all adjusters are turned to full clockwise position. When doing this, make sure to count where they were originally, and be careful not to over tighten. The standard setting offers the best combination of comfort and performance in various trail conditions. This is the factory default setting, let's see how to obtain that. We will start from the ski shocks. Locate the compression damping adjusters at the top of the reservoir. Then turn the low speed compression damping adjuster 30 clicks counterclockwise from the closed position. Then take a 70 mm wrench and turn the high speed compression damping adjuster two full turns counterclockwise from the closed position. The rebound damping adjuster is located at the bottom of the shock. Turn the adjuster 24 clicks counterclockwise from the closed position. Now repeat these adjustments with the other ski shock. Let's move on to the center arm. Again, let's make sure we start counting from the closed position of each adjuster. The center and rear shock compression damping adjusters are located in the shock reservoir here as well. Take a screwdriver and turn the low speed compression damping adjuster 30 clicks counterclockwise. Then take a 17 mm wrench and turn the high speed compression damping adjuster two full turns counterclockwise. The rebound damping adjuster is located at the bottom of the shock. Turn it with the screwdriver seven clicks counterclockwise. Now repeat these adjustments to the rear shock. Finally, check that the limiter strap is in position two. You have completed the adjustments for the standard setting and are ready to rock those trails. As mentioned before, the standard setting offers the best combination of comfort and performance in various trail conditions. Depending on where and how you ride, you may feel a need to adjust the suspension. Add comfort when riding on flat, groomed trails or tighten it up for sporty riding on really rough terrain. In these cases, the comfort and sport settings can come in handy. The setup process is similar to the standard setting we just covered. Just follow the guidelines for the limiter strap position and shock adjustments in this chart. The chart is available for download on our website. We have now covered the basics of Lynx Rave RE and x RE suspension setup. Setting the sack limiter strap adjustment and the shock adjustment. This should give you a starting point for fine tuning of your ride. Suspension adjustments are made to improve the behavior of a sled. My best advice is to ride a lot and learn to feel your sled's behavior. If there is a need to adjust, start with small adjustments. For example, with the shock adjustments, five clicks or half a turn on the compression adjusters will already make a difference. 
In the rebound adjuster, only one click to the right direction may be enough, especially in the rear suspension. Then write and feel the impact of the changes. Remember to always write down the changes so that you can easily revert if needed. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions regarding the suspension setup. We may cover those questions in our future videos. Have fun and don't get cold when waiting for your riding buddies. See you on the trail!